Hey everyone. It's Zebulon. It's your friendly community manager, Elliot. Here with another building stream from A Total Noob. And today we're going to be building a watch room. So, maybe before we do that though, I'll show you a little update on my treehouse that I built last week. Um, I've made a couple of additions to it. Uh, because it's really fun. And I was like, okay, Elliot, you gotta fit in some, some actual work during your day. Can't spend the whole time messing about in Sansar, but I added some cool stuff that I'm gonna show you. Oh, and there's gonna be a stream in here that's gonna be really loud. This was maybe a bad idea, but I love Dota. So there's now a sphere of Dota that plays Twitch streams for me. Uh, there's actually two, there's another one there. And that is gonna be re very relevant to the build that I'm gonna be doing today. We've got this, uh, we've got these rocks, made them a little bit smaller. And we've got this uh, cool floating, floating airship going around. And you remember I was really upset that I had these lanterns that I couldn't, couldn't really do anything with. Um, couldn't uh, walk on them and the animation messed up. Well, I changed their scale, uh, I changed their scale back down to one and the animation started working out. And I put an invisible platform on them. So I'm now walking on an invisible square platform that's just slightly above these lanterns. Coming back to my idea of this like trail of moving lights that you would walk across to my treehouse. Um, but we've got these large gaps that uh, kind of make it a little bit difficult to tell where the path is. and I might kind of fall off. <laughs> it ends somewhere around here. It's not perfectly bound to them. And you'll see that sometimes the lanterns look a little bit weird or they jump. But uh, still, still playing with that idea. Um, I've got myself a floating spearhead that's just kind of gently rotating. Uh, I'm kind of pretending it's like a like a drone that like hovers around my house, keeps Zebulon safe. I got a ball. I turned the friction and the bounce all the way down, so that's fun. Put in some chairs. Nothing new with the lights or any light fixtures. Uh, let's run upstairs though because I did put in a bed, so I've got. Zebulon's got a little hover bed for him to hang out. He's got a little picture of a space astronaut on the wall, and he's got another little Spear of Destiny drone thing. Keeping him keeping him safe at night. That's where I'm at with my treehouse. Oh, and there goes there goes the bull. <laughs> Let's go to Atlas. We're going to go to Create. And the thing I really want to show off today was these watch parties day-night scenes. So these are templates that you can use for creating your own experience very easily in Sansar, and they're kind of built around the idea of watching content. So watching um, a Twitch stream, like my Dodo that I've got playing, like watching any other esports or personal favorite Twitch streamers, or even like uh, speedrunning or just cats. Pretty sure our live streams just cats, maybe the live stream from the International Space Station any kind of uh, thing you want to do. So I'm going to open up the watch party scene and I'm going to go with day and I'm going to go create. Oh, and I've got to name it. I always forget to name it. And uh, we will call it uh, Watchimus Maximus. That's a good name, right? And then we're going to click uh, edit scene. Cool. So I'm going to press the plus key on the numcat a bit so I can go a bit faster. But here you see we've got like a little watch room. You know, we've got a tree, we've got some tables, we've got a spawn point in the center here, we've got some benches, and we've got this room, and we've got this screen that's obscured by this great big green bowl. And you might be like, well, what's with this green bowl, Elliot? Well, if I go to visibility, and I turn off audio volumes, you'll see the green bowl disappears. So, if I've understood this correctly, <laughs> this is a... Um, a sound emitter, like this is the how the audio is being controlled, so it emanates from the screen rather than just being in your ears, like it was in the experience I was just in. So we're not going to delete it. We're just going to go to visibility here, and we're going to turn audio volumes off so the screen blob disappears. You go up to here, you go to tools, you go to scene settings, and then you scroll down, and it goes here. What kind of uh, what kind of stream shall we put in here? Well, let's figure something out. I'm gonna go go across to YouTube here. Whoop! Oh, no, come on. There we go. <laughs> We're in YouTube. We're on the Sansa homepage. 
So let's take my own Get It Started video, because I like the sound of my own voice. And we're going to go to Share, and we don't want that. We want an... No, we don't want that URL library. Um, I was shown how to do this like two days ago. Is it this URL? Uh, or is it the URL at the top? I think it's the URL at the top. Totally point now, then switch back over here. Okay. <laughs> Let's demo that again. So if I go up here to options, I go to audio video preview. So what I did was, uh, i got to do this. I hate how to close, if I have a different menu open, I have to re-click scene settings to bring up the scene setting windows. All right. So I just copied and pasted the URL here before this embed. So before it was just youtube.com and then this bit was left in here. So I just, before the youtube.com, copy and pasted the URL in and make sure there wasn't double backspaces. So that's the one that's in there now. And then I go up here to options and I go audio video preview. So it's gonna show me the video without me having to actually build out the space and we should see playback. Cool, so that worked. Hopefully you heard that as well. Um, or maybe you didn't hear the audio. That's fine, that might be the experience thing, but I got audio playback, so it's fine. Now, how do I make it full screen? It says it's full screen. Well, Ptolemy sent me a helpful link that we're gonna take a look at over here. So, if you look for Sansar uh, media streams um, in our help documentation, you should be able to find here about putting it in the space. And yeah, so this is the URL. Oh, okay. So it's I put the. See what I did is I replaced the U this part of the URL. But what I'm supposed to do is put it after the embed. Oh, okay, so it's the bit at the end. Right, all right, let's get this out full screen so I can <laughs> tap between stuff. So it is, this is the video ID. Okay. Back into Sansa. Clicked on something. <sighs> Close that. Settings. Oh, yeah. yeah, scene settings, thank you. All right. Um... So it goes after the embed. So we want to cut this out and go slash and put it here. And then put it again at the end. Is that what it said? Did it say put it again at the end? Audio video preview. It's now playing in full screen. Success. All right, that worked. That worked in full screen. It did, however, start it as a playlist. I don't know if you saw that. It was really briefly in the top left corner. You saw one slash two, so one of two videos. Um, so I would guess we would go into, just cut out the word playlist from the URL. Which screen am I looking at? I'm really bad at scene switching, guys. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Let's demo it again. Cool, so it's playing. And you can see it's playing in full screen. And I'm gonna do, redo it again. Watch the top left corner, see one of two. So it is doing a playlist, which is not what we want it to do. But it is, however, playing in full screen now. So that's amazing. So we're gonna go back to scene settings and we're gonna scroll down. And we are just gonna find the word playlist and delete it along with anything else it's referring to. There we go, playlist video ID and that and sign go away go 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 you see top left corner no one of two it's no longer trying to be part of a playlist but it's playing the video in full screen we just had to put it after the slash embed word and after the um, at the end where there's like an example I'm going to show you again where you get that when you have a YouTube video you go share and you get it from this Let's try finding a live stream. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go twitch.tv slash directory because uh, directory actually shows you all the games instead of its stupid homepage that I don't like. <laughs> but uh, so browse is the homepage for me. I want to see the games. And we are going, uh, we've done quite a bit with Dota, so let's get a Hearthstone stream. And who we've got? Colento, Amaz, Trump. Let's, uh, let's get Trump SC. He's cool. He's good. Teaches you a lot. Let's, who else we got down here? No one I know. So here we go. We've got a bit of Trump playing his Hearthstone. He, it's kind of funny how often he got tagged. <laughs> during the presidential election on Twitter. <laughs> and it's it's muted on Twitch, so that's why you can't hear him. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the end of his URL because that's probably the ID I need. And then... Control-F. Twitch. There we go. Okay, so Twitch is like this with the channel ID. So this is the bit we're replacing in the brackets. So we're going to go across to Sansa. We're going to go scene settings. I'm going to delete this. And I'm not actually just going to... I just want to put this down. I'm just going to put Trump SC there. <laughs> I'm going to come back over here. And I'm going to grab this URL. Do, whoops, not Alt-C. Control-C. And I want to point out, I messed this up. I thought that said 15. So, <laughs> when I did this myself the other day, I did and HTML 15 which is really dumb because I've worked with plenty of companies that do HTML5, which is the main video playback for that <laughs> for live video. <laughs> I should have known what HTML5 was. I should have figured that out. All right. Going back across to Sansa. A lot more copy and pasting than last stream. Control-V, Trump-SC, Control-C, channel ID, including those brackets, but watch out for that and sign and that equal sign. We need those. And then we delete that. All right. Let's see how a live stream goes. Playing Trump? It's going to play ads. So, fun fact. If you have an Amazon Prime account, you can link that with your Twitch account. And that counts as being a Twitch Prime member. And Twitch Prime members don't get ads. <laughs> so if you have Amazon Prime, just link it to your Twitch and you won't see ads. <laughs> If you don't have a Twitch account, just make one and link it to your Amazon account so you don't see ads. <laughs> um, let's go into settings because I heard there were new ones with the media graphics mode. So we can set it to low in our settings. And I don't know if that affects ads. Um, or it might only affect an experience playback. This is a... This is like a five minute advert. What the hell? Five minute advert for a winery? Before Trump streams Hearthstone? Yeah, because people who play Hearthstone really love California wineries. With, like, hip-hop music. Disappointed in you. California. What are you doing? Okay. It worked. <laughs> it worked and it played a full screen. <laughs> Terrific. Let's talk a little bit more about this space. Because, um... What can we do with this template? You know, it's just a template. Um... Well, there's a couple of things we can do. We can go up to scene settings. Sorry, it was already open. And we can go to skybox, embedded texture. So right now it's like the sunset. And it has a, um, I don't know where it is in the list, but this thing, this directional light based on that skybox. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it to my Milky Way one. And you're going to see we now have this Milky Way galaxy around us. But that also dramatically changed the light in here. You'll also see we have the problem that I had before. We've got this horrible grey stuff. Now I don't know why it's there by default. But all we do is we go fog scattering, fog fall off, ground fog density. And now we actually get the full... We get our underbox that I was complaining about in my last week's stream. <laughs> what I called the underbox. So I was like, oh, do I have to add another texture? No, it's just fog someone told me just remove the fog so so we can also go like highland skybox and you'll see that gives us a different light quality in here as well as a different background so we can just mess around with skyboxes you can buy more skyboxes on the store 
And my personal favorite thing to do is if we click on the white room and select it, we can just we can just make it bigger. You know, just just play with the scale slider. So you see we've got all these lights still hanging in midair. Um, and if I keep dragging it bigger, everything's going to kind of sink below the floorboards. So a little bit of rejigging need, needed there. But hey, now I've got something that looks less like a large studio apartment and something that looks more like a warehouse party. So simple, simple stuff to be done there. So that's all I really want to show you with the, uh, setting up media streams and watching templates. We're now going to spend the rest of the half, next 30 minutes of the stream, doing something cool. Because I have an idea, and I think it's really fun.